Hello, I'm uh, Gaki, and I have my good friend Mike Soul doing the commentary Yo. for me. And this is Dragon Ball Z Budokai 1 HD on Xbox 360. And the timer starts, I will count down from 3 to 1, and the uh, timer starts on go. And uh, 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, so. I will take over from here on. This is, uh, as he said, this is Dragon Ball Z Budokai HD, which is a difference between Budokai 1 from the older generation. Is In this one, they have faster loading times, you skip more cutscenes, and they replace all the audio. Like, there's a whole completely different audio, uh, music audio swap. Uh, in this run, you'll be going through the uh, Raditz all the way to the end of set. So you'll be seeing all the good stuff. And um, as you're seeing right now on screen, we have combo canceling. And most of the game is going to revolve around Goku, Piccolo, Gohan, just combo canceling all the way to the end. And once it gets to go, uh, Kid Go. Uh, Gohan, it's going to be a little harder because it's not a very strong combo cancel, but we'll get to that when we get there. So here's up the mini game, and this is this is kind of an annoying mini game. It's like really the only one that's just awful. He needs to make sure to line up uh, Goku in that line when the timer stops. And what most speed runners will do is they'll wait to like four or five seconds and then kind of move him back in position. Because it's the longer you start rotating it, the harder it gets to move. So it's better to actually wait it out. And just people know, we are past the worst part of the run. For me, I was super nervous about the minigame because if you fail it, it's pretty big time loss. Um, hey, aren't you like second place now? Or yep, eight seconds yep. behind world record. So. He went, uh, in this, you'll see him going it, the harder it gets to move, so it's And just people know, we are past the worst part of the run. For me, I was super nervous about the minigame, because if you fail it, it's pretty big time loss. Um... Hey, aren't you, like, second place now? Or yep, eight seconds yep, behind world record. So... He went, uh, in this, you'll see him go into Kaioken to get just an extra amount of damage and then go right back into combo canceling. Combo um, canceling is extremely easy to do in this game. It's literally just do two different combos and right before you finish them, just hit guard. And it just immediately puts you right back into your standard position, your uh, base position, and then immediately go back into another one. Yeah, the models are pretty bad for Budokai 1. It's really funny sometimes. It... It's a dramatic difference between one and two, because in one they look like this, and then two they look a lot better. Then three they just like drew it, a whole new art style. Uh, so now we're on Vegeta, and it's pretty much the same thing. Vegeta just do combo canceling. Kaioken. Uh, an interesting fact, in this game and in the original, they decided to keep the actual color of the Kamehameha they did before, because a lot of these attacks in this game are actually colored wrong. Because, I guess, when they first made it, they didn't realize that certain beam attacks were different colors. So you'll probably notice how a lot of things are just kind of oddly color. Um, but you won't see me doing Kamehameha on this one at at like any, any times. If he does it right, he's just gonna be doing nothing but punching and kicks. So he'll he'll probably never use a energy attack unless maybe Piccolo if he wants to do that. That's up to him. Gohan for Gohan right now, it's the best strategy is just to do the basic board, basic punch. That was he's... actually pretty good RNG on the Vegeta too. Oh yeah, it was really good. He didn't retaliate whatsoever. Oh, 
<laughs> Obizi. <laughs> oh god. Spliced. Oh god, Obizi, please. <laughs> the party starts now. We have everyone joining in. And these two next split, uh, kind of missions are pretty fucking annoying. So, uh, these are the uh, missions where you, for the first one, you need to deflect 15 energy blasts, if I'm not correct. Yep. And this one's actually kind of interesting, because the normal strat that everyone does is they'll hit it to the side. But there is a very rare RNG strat where if you're standing at the right spot and Vegeta is willing to retaliate, you can literally keep constantly hitting back the same Kai Blast for the entire 15, which would be the fastest possible way to do it. But it is so unlikely to happen that it's not worth trying. So for the next one, it's the uh, collides. I it's gonna be a pain because you can't really guess which one Vegeta's gonna do. Yeah, now he's giving me pretty bad time here. Oh, it did. Oh, okay. Find the running cover. <laughs> they set you up for a good time, aren't they? Mike's soul is like the vet veteran of Saga Speedruns. That is true, sadly. Raise your arms and give him the power for good RNG. He's gonna. Yeah, you know what? Save that for the cell part. He's gonna need that for sure. <laughs> This was pretty alright, even though Vegeta kind of controlled you at the start. Yeah, yeah. pretty decent. Could be much worse. So the next one is just a regular fight where it, it handicaps you by taking away some of your health. But in this run, it's not even a problem because Kaioken and the combo canceling OP. Nerf combo canceling, please. Oh, they did later on. Another thing that I do want to uh, point out is he's not just randomly combo canceling, he's combo canceling in a pattern so that way Vegeta doesn't fall over. Because if you do it too fast, Vegeta, uh, after your second combo cancel, he'll fall over and that's like their fell safe to combo canceling. But if you wait just a second, and let them repos like reposition themselves, you can just keep doing it for the And now we are in the best part of the run. Freeze the saga. Vegeta looking blue. I get that Vegeta blue early, you know? An interesting fact about uh, the HD collection is uh, there's like isn't there like two or three different versions technically? And uh, and two of them or one of them you have both the Japanese and the English voices. But in the English edition, you don't get that. You just get English. In the Euro European version you can you get only Japanese on Budoka one, but in Budoka three I'm pretty sure every version can choose which one they wanna use. I'm pretty sure. Uh, dude, there's a there's, uh, Vaporeon in the chat. Good, yeah. That was kind of like Kaioken, but no can do. And a Bailey. Oh man. Okay, I'm going this. More combo canceling. You know, standard stuff. That's gonna be m most of the Budokai games is combo canceling until you get to 3 and then it's uh, pretty much teleport. Maybe. And it's that key blast he, there was kind of just to get small damage in get that last hit in yeah i do it too can't blame you or not last hit but like kind of the last hits and this is pretty annoying fight too uh, for me this fight is pretty bad if uh, goku decides to dragon use dragon throw because then i can't uh, kind of loop in the same combo over and over again so yeah, as he said, uh, Ginyu does not really have a combo cancel. Lucky for us though, we start the fight in the air and makes it a lot easier to combo. But it's also bad because when a character is 
not standing up for a horizontal in any way, they actually take reduced damage. So it's good and bad. And that's one reason why we don't like just permanently keep them on the ground and just loop them. Because that is a possibility in this game. Because, again, it does less damage. So now next three fights will be against Frieza. And Frieza can be very mean. Frieza, Cell, and the Android are very mean. Frieza 1 is going pretty okay. Came in at the right time. Budokai is a good game. If there's any questions in chat, please do ask. I don't mind answering them all. I've done these games for way too long. I know too much. Please help. So now we're into Super Saiyan. We got our first Super Saiyan Goku. So this is another fight that's kind of hard because you start off in the air. So it's good and bad, but at the same time, Frieza's AI at this point is to guard at a decent amount, so it can be a real problem. Who's the best character in DBZ and why is it Krillin? Damn. I don't know, you just answered your own question. <laughs> To be honest, to be honest, my favorite character in DBZ or Dragon Ball in general is Piccolo. But in this game, Piccolo is pretty fucked. Freaking ass. I cannot answer that question either. <laughs> I failed my combo cancel right there, but it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Gooby is the best DBZ character, and everyone else is wrong. No, it's only Gooby Super, uh, Super Saiyan 3. You can get it right, Gooby. No, no, you don't know your DBZ. Does the combo uh, different for each enemy? Not really. It's different per character because each. Uh, well, not really. There's a bunch of characters that have the same thing, but most. The way it works is um, you do one combo cancel, and switch to another combo cancel, and then just repeat the process. The main issue with this game is that. It solely based itself around when the enemy, when the AI blocks, when you're consistently doing combo cancel. So you'll notice how he was in a combo cancel, and then suddenly Frieza got that second to uh, guard, and then got out of it. It's during that second where we try to let the uh, enemy reposition themselves, they have a chance to guard. And it kind of just RNG depends on how fast you're going to do it and when they're going to block. Later on, it's going to be really painful. And like, and the game starts getting really hard when you get Gohan later on. Now we are in the worst part of the run, aka Cell Saga. Things are gonna start going wrong pretty soon. Your favorite character is Yancho because he has a base style. Hey, fair enough. It's pretty good in Fighter Z, I'll tell you what. So in that fight, you, you had hard virus, but it again combo canceling doesn't really matter. And now we start the cell fights. First, we do uh, Piccolo versus Cell. This isn't that bad as Team Gohan versus Cell fights, in my opinion. So there's an issue with Piccolo. Piccolo can only do one of the uh, attacks to combo cancel and you can't lose it very well. So what you're going to see is him do one combo cancel into another uh, a regular combo. And that's pretty much how you do all the Piccolo fights in this game. Which I gotta say, this is a pretty clean uh, cell one. Oh, <laughs> I was just gonna say, as soon as you said that, everything started to go so wrong. That was yeah. clean, up until... That was pretty good one up to the very end, where he decided to go, nah, I'm gonna fix that one. It was good until Mike Soul started speaking about how good it was.
And Android 17 is pretty bad by with Piccolo, in my opinion. Because Android 17 likes to guard a lot. Likes to guard a lot and likes to retaliate a lot. All these good bugs. Feels good, man. Oh no, out of bounds. I failed. Oh uh, yeah. So one thing you don't want to get in this game is you never want to knock the enemy out of bounds because then you have to deal with the cutscene of them flying. So you waste maybe like, for this one, five seconds. Five to six. And now comes second fight against Cell, but we are using Goku, so it's not that bad. All these KHE modes are moving real well, real good now. I failed. I remember this fight in the uh, anime being a lot more entertaining than the capital. This was actually pretty decent cell too. Oh yeah, I got perfect too. Nice. Normally this uh, this fight cell at least hits me once or twice. And now we get to the worst part, like absolute worst part, playing as Dean Gohan. So Ting Gohan kind of has a combo cancel, but not really. It's kind of uh, buffy, I guess is the best way to say it. He's, he's going to knock Cell in the air and then do a, a, a forward uh, punch combo. And he's just going to kind of repeat this. And it's good and bad, because it knocks him up in the air and gives you some extra hits in, with all the damage reduction popping in. But it also, if Cell guards at any point, it kind of leaves Gohan open, so it's very scary to do sometimes. That was actually pretty decent, so free. That is true. He does blow up the ring in the series. Actually, by this point, uh, when Gohan actually gets his first part of the fight, the ring, uh, the ring was already blown up, so there shouldn't be no ring here. So now we have Super Saiyan 2 uh, Gohan, which is good. And More this fight is game. same as the Vegeta 2 with Kid Gohan, you just spam punches against Cell Juniors. Just do base punches and you can kind of loop them forever. And Unless the they counter punches, you. The reason why base punches is the uh, main one for this is because at the end of it you don't send them flying, so we don't have to run after them. You can just continue so you do it over and over again. Reap Android 16, I know, it's bad man. You don't get to play him, fight him in this one. Uh, but Cell Juniors can be super bad, to be honest. If they hop back or hit you, because their oh, yeah. hits are pretty quick. These guys can eat your time pretty fast. Well, they were in the manga, but they just didn't last long, because Gohan turned Super Saiyan 2 and killed them all in one punch. And now we have last two fights ahead of us. That was a pretty good sell. Juniors. Could have been way worse. So this is where the game becomes ridiculously harder. <laughs> what he wants to do is he wants to do what he did before and just kind of loop sell. 
but he needs to be very careful so that Cell does not go into his 100% form, because when he goes into his 100% form, his guard, he just starts guarding a lot more. Like, almost every time he'll try to guard, and it just wastes a lot of time and becomes very, very difficult. Ooh, a nice wall bounce. All the, I've never oh no, perfect that cell for this was actually pretty fucking good fight. Nice. Dang, I wish I had and uh, the timer will st stop after final hit on this next fight. This has been a solid run up to this point. Jeez. Can't work record though anymore. So timer will end after this fight, after the fir last punch on Cell. And one thing what Cell does a lot in these last two fights is lasso you and that's not nice. Yeah, lasso is a pain because one, if you knock you guys super saiyan two, you can get back into it. Yeah, there you go. But um, it can also, like I said, it just has uh, it just needs time away too, plus the damage. There's also a chance for him to be spear bomb, but um, if that happens, you just, yeah, that's a lot of time wasted. And it almost keeps I remember this one time when we raced and you got two times spear bombed. Yeah, he spear bombed me twice and then did a lasso to kill me. I was so upset. <laughs> Oh, I was so mad at that. And this is why self fight is pretty bad. And Even that's when he, like, son. Down, he's still a problem. <laughs> 21 17. That was oh. pretty decent run. That was pretty good. Well, thank you for having me and let me do Kuga one run on this marathon. Asia you awesome Dragon Ball Z, my friends. And all of the GGs. Thanks yeah, for pretty, the GGs. Yeah, Thank you for all the GGs. And before we go, I will say that um, this is the any percent route is only half of the game. So there's a whole other half for a 100% story.